In this video, we are going to know about neutron broth. That what is neutron broth? What is the composition of neutron broth? What is the use of neutron broth? What how to prepare neutron broth and how to check the growth in neutron broth? So these all all these points are included in this video. So let's get started. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel by Rajiv with Agam Singh. So firstly, know about what is neutron broth. Actually, neutron broth is a liquid culture media for the growth of microorganisms, especially for bacteria. As we are talking about neutron broth, as it contains all the ingredients which are essential for the growth of bacteria. So it is used for the cultivation of different type of bacteria and their species. Means it is a general media, general liquid media for the cultivation of bacteria okay this is what the neutron broth is and what is the use of it okay now what is the ingredient what is the constituent of neutron broth neutron broth is constitute of three ingredients that when we make 100 ml of neutron broth then we i am talking about the ingredient about 100 ml okay so firstly when uh, we are making 100 ml of uh, neutron broth so we just requires 0.5 gram of peptone, 0.5 gram of NaCl, and 0.3 gram of beef extract. Okay, so that's an idea about neutron broth ingredients. Now, how to prepare neutron broth? Firstly, we just have to weigh out the ingredients that I am talking about. Um, all the ingredients we have to weigh in a weighing balance, and after that, we have to take a conical flask in which we had uh, added all the ingredients in a proper weighing amount and after that um, we have to weigh we have to just uh, fill the uh, measuring cylinder 100 ml as we are making 100 ml of neutron broth so make it 100 and after that add this water in that okay now um, shake it just like that and uh, if it is not uh, properly dissolve then heat it up to it boiling so that uh, the mixture become a proper homogeneous mixture so here it is not properly mixed so i have to boil it so after boiling it becomes homogeneous and uh, it when it become homogeneous then you just have to take some test tubes uh, the clean test tubes you just have to take and fill it up to 10 ml it's an approximate amount not uh, so much so uh, this is the test tube i had filled it with it and after that we have to cotton plug it, it actually that uh, uh, i had covered with it a uh, cotton plug and after that i have covered it with a foil okay so this will looks like that when we totally completed the process means that it is a total prepared but is it, it is not useful for the culture of bacteria because as we had not done the process of sterilization here so we just have to sterilize it for a sterilization we just have to keep this these test tubes in a large beaker and uh, all the test tube must be covered with the foil and the cotton plug inside it as i have showed you so this is the package we are going to autoclave autoclave makes it to sterile so firstly i had a preheated pre autoclave so as you can see the vapors are coming out means that the autoclave is preheated now i just have to put this inside it the autoclave okay i am just putting this inside the autoclave and after that i have to make the lid so this is the autoclave autoclaving processor and now i have to on the autoclave and close the wall and wait until the 15 psi and after that 15 minutes for sterilization okay now the process of sterilization is done i have to take out the neutron broth from the autoclave as all the steam is released out no steam is here so we just have to open the autoclave must use this uh, hot glove so that 
you cannot be injured from the heat as you can see the vapors are here means that the sterilization is properly done the neutron broth is uh, ready to use for the bacterial growth after sterilization we just have to make our hands clear with the alcohol 70% alcohol and uh, make this neutron broth to cool now uh, up to 45 to 50 degrees celsius so that when we inoculate the bacterial culture inside it the bacteria should not die because of the temperature high temperature so we just have to make it cool as it we can touch it with our hands okay so now open the aluminium foil upside the test tube with the cotton plug okay now just take the test tube from this finger little finger and uh, plug the cotton plug from it and make the test tube here and just heat it on the bunsen burner and after that uh, you just have to put it inside a inside it the sterile beaker and after that you just have to take a bacterial culture as i am taking the e coli you can see the green sheath here as it is shining such more and you just have to sterile the inoculum loop make it to sterile with the heat as it become reddish so after becoming it reddish you just have to cool it out and after that take the e coli sample from it as you are growing the e coli okay so take the bacteria from the e coli this inoculum loop is full of bacteria so now you just have to make it again to heat up neutron broth and just enter the inoculum loop inside the test tube and shake it just like that so that the bacteria will enters in the test tube okay after that you just have to sterile the inoculum loop and keep it side and cotton plug again the test tube and wrap it with the foil okay as such you just have to do with all the test tubes which you are growing up the bacteria one test tube should to be marked as control so that so that the to check the purity of the culture as you have so all the test tubes are filled up with e coli but one test tube should not to be inoculated with any type of bacteria so that it shows that it is pure form of bacteria so as you see that it is clear solution of neutron broth totally clear okay so after inoculation of the bacteria in the all the neutron broth test tubes you just have to incubate it for 24 to 48 hours means that it's about one day incubation and after that you will see the results now i have take out these test tubes after a day after 24 to 48 hours uh, i have seen that the test tube which has inoculated with the e coli shows this type of turbidity as you can see that this is the cloudy lots of cloudiness in this test tube so this shows the turbidity and the control which uh, which we have taken as i have marked with the c control so you can see or see and differentiate between both of them as it doesn't shows any type of turbidity in, in it while which test tubes which we have inoculated with E. coli shows a lots of turbidity so you can identify with that the growth has uh, taken place and in this the growth has not taken place so from this way you can identify the growth in the neutron broth so this is all about the neutron broth i hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you have any doubt or any query then you can ask in the comment box down below and if you have some friends which want this knowledge then share this video with them and if you haven't subscribed this channel then subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos such like that thank you so much for watching see you soon